talking to you from the studio retreat of Urban Primitive, and I'm talking right now with Heather Horton, uh, who is uh, one of my favorite artists and painters, um, and she's here to get a, another session, um, another tattoo. Uh, as you can see, she has some work on her arms, uh, and I just wanted to check with you, Heather, uh, what you were thinking of for today. Well, Damon, throughout the course of our history, I've kind of I've come to you and it's just sort of happened very organically and I haven't really had a definitive thing in mind. I think a lot of people come to you with an idea and I just love your work. So I said, just here's the canvas, do your thing. <laughs> but this time it's, it's echoing that, but it's also more specific. I'd like to have a smallish piece undulating as usual in the similar Fibonacci idea, uh, in white. Mm -hmm. Because you were telling me that white can absolutely be used. And I'm, in I'm intrigued by that because of my impending move to the Yukon, which has a lot of white, mm -hmm. a lot of beer. <laughs> so it's, it's more inherently symbolic, this one. And it'll be a self-contained piece, mm -hmm. um, you know, attached, of course, but also on its own little thread, as it were. And so white, uh, symbolizing my move, symbolizing this odyssey, this 50, no, 60, around 6,000 kilometer drive I'll be doing in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I thought this would be perfect. The timing will be perfect. It's right before it. Mm -hmm. And it'll be healing and it'll be, you know, becoming a part of me while I'm becoming a part of that work. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um, we were talking earlier about this, um, are you, do you find that getting the tattoo just before you go on this journey is, is in any way going to sort of launch you or? I think that it will absolutely augment it. I think that it's, I, I mean, I just think it's the perfect thing mm -hmm. to do right in conjunction with it. Mm -hmm. I think, um, every time that I look, I'm a left-handed person, it'll be on my left wrist. So every time I look at my wrist as I'm driving, I'll see it and think of it Reminder. and just think, okay, this is like perfectly coordinated <laughs> how it's worked yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. How did you, I know you want me to just go with it to some degree, mm -hmm. but what do you envision? Do you want more of the, the design on the, on the inside? I wanted to talk to you about that because I love the, the handwork that you've done mm -hmm. here. So, I mean, initially, like my, my, my thought is to have like something out of my hand too. Okay. But but I wanted to mm -hmm. sort of talk with you about that. So it's mm -hmm. kind of as usual. It's kind of amorphous and at the same mm -hmm. time, kind of, I know, the general idea. Yeah. So probably the outside, probably the outside. So mostly on the outside and it all going in? Maybe wrapping around. A little I kind of like okay. wrapping. Yeah. Okay. Love it. So lots of that sort of three-dimensional mm -hmm. going a little bit onto your hand mm -hmm. and how far up? Just roughly do. I, I just kind of think like sort of like here with wrapping around a little mm -hmm. bit around the okay. wrist, but I wouldn't, you know, mm -hmm. if you were to go up oh, on my hand, that would, I would not argue. That'd be great. Yeah. I've had more folks comment on my work. They see it on the, on my hand, you know, mm -hmm. all the time. And so, and then they're like, does that go all the way up? And invariably the sleeve comes off and it's, <laughs> it's, it's uh -huh. a great conversation starter. It's wonderful. So then. Yes. Anyway, even though it's self-contained, yeah. you then I'm guessing be, you'll say that someday. Well, guess what? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, I say, oh, this is it. It's just this one piece, but I'll be back. The perennial tattoo. Absolutely. Okay. When it comes to Damon and his process, um, as it applies to his work and my work, um, getting a tattoo from Damon is right from the beginning. It's about the friendship. It's about the energy that he exudes and it all works together. So the tattoo happens even before the ink is placed into your skin. Um, there's no separation between our, our friendship and the art. So in a way, it's like, it's just a great representation of our friendship. As it applies to my painting, I would say his process is it's a little bit more subtle in that it's not a direct thing. I take it away with me. I, I, I reflect upon the work, look at it on my body, and I think it just, it, it resonates as, and I think about him as a friend, and my friends as a collective, 
And that gives me strength to paint. So I would say it's a little bit more indirect, uh, but it all is connected. But yeah, it's just that I love, I always wanted to sculpt when I was younger. And uh, with tattooing, with the way I work, I am sculpting because I find it so important when I'm figuring out uh, the design. It's like how it looks from different angles and, and how something moves over the line moves over the terrain as opposed to just flat on, which is why I prefer not to just transfer something and take my chances because it's not really a living tattoo. It's like the equivalent, I would say, a loose equivalent of root binding and hiking. So yeah. if you have your coordinates, you have to adapt to the terrain and figure out the best way through. Yeah. yeah. And if, if you're someone who's been on the land all their life, they're going to have that kind of intuitive sense that's built up over time. Uh, so if, if you were someone who knew an area and you were leading them through it, you would have a different relationship with that terrain than the person who's just gone there first. Correct. And it's the same thing with working with someone. Um, there is sort of a resonance that I try to follow. Mm -hmm. um, like I, when I sat down, I just had this diagonal feeling <laughs> here and I don't know where it's going from there, but I just <laughs> put that thing down and then it just kind of, mm -hmm. something else comes into the picture. But I think where the real craft emerges is where it's like this bridge between intuition and judgment. So going with what makes sense, but also having the experience to like, you'll start drawing something on there, and then all of a sudden it coalesces together and connects back. I'm like, that's what's up. I kind of appreciate that it's, it's not always immediate, you know what I mean? And yet, mm -hmm. by the end, it is, you know? But it, it just all works. There's only one bee, right? Yeah, you can do whatever you want with the bee. Fuck another bee. See, I'm now I'm into bees. <laughs> That would be funny. <laughs> Do it. Put ES. Put bees. That's terrific. Well, what? I don't know. It's going the opposite direction. That is funny. I just think if if the spiral did this and it made another E, <laughs> just by spiraling there. I love there. it. That's awesome. Okay, so now go this way. Oh yeah, I guess your arm doesn't go <laughs> that way. It's like. Well, uh, today's session with Heather, um, a lot of because because I know her so well uh, from many uh, visits and also because we're both artists uh, and we really connect and relate so well uh, on the same channel in so many ways, uh, we really, really dovetail and, and feed each other. There's no effort whatsoever. Um, which can only build over time. Um, and also, I think because Heather is right at the, at this point, the pinnacle of a whole new and very large phase of her life, which has been, from my perspective, over sessions and in our conversations has been building. When I, before the tattoo, before I go into the tattoo, I've had enough done to know what to expect and yet you never really know what to expect. So there's certain things that are consistent, but you're always a little bit nervous. There are moments of discomfort, um, but you know that it's something that you're going to have forever and people are terrified by that. And I think it's exciting. How do you feel after your tattoo? If there's any way to describe it. Tired, but not in a bad way. Mm. Just in a, cause it's a lot of exertion. Um, you're with your body constantly being in various states of, you know, physicality in the afternoons. And so, um, yeah, tired, but happy. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. I would, I would say more sort of quietly, like, I, w I don't feel like going out and being like loud and social. It's like sort of more, I guess maybe the internalizing of it all. I'm not sure. Does mm -hmm. that answer your question? Kind of. Oh, it's whatever. Yeah. 
I think most people would say similar thing. Although some people, some people have felt like going out and partying afterwards. They have really? weird bursts of energy, mm-hmm. and then it goes really quick. Mm-hmm. Or some people are, as you mentioned, and then get a little burst later. Or mm-hmm. I think it's just those little bubbles of excitement mm-hmm. of something shifted and new. And I agree. This this momentum and this this challenge or these challenges that she's been facing um this is like she's in a very ex- i find very excited uh place in her life moving to the yukon it's something that she's really waited for it's, it's the expansion of her artwork of like everything's fitting together which is what my whole uh approach to tattooing has always been so it's really nice uh it's nice to have theories and, and patterns that start to form in how I approach tattooing as a facilitator and as a midwife to the person's kind of self-birthing experience, but it's wonderful when you really see it happening, which is what was the case with Heather today. I mean, it's not that I need proof, but it's just really nice to see the larger picture just taking shape and the person using it, the tattoo experience as a vehicle, intuitively. Mm-hmm.